Well, there's a natural phenomenon that happens just once a year, but unfortunately, everybody missed it because of the coronavirus. We're talking about the beautiful symphony of synchronization that is the fireflies in the Congaree National Park. But you know what? The show had to go on. A natural light show at Congaree National Park. During two weeks in mid-May and early June, thousands of synchronous fireflies give quick flashes of light as a mating call. And as a, there are only about three firefly species in North America that synchronize. Dr. David Shelley is the chief of resource stewardship and science at Congaree National Park. But our species, Foturus frontalis, in Congaree National Park, is congregationally synchronous. So if you get enough of them together in one place, they will synchronize. Makes me think of congregational singing. So you come together and you're, you're sharing something in common. Over the past several years, a growing crowd of onlookers visit the park to see the lightning bugs. This year, social distancing kept sightseers away, but gave researchers a private view of the show. We actually have some researchers this year from the University of Colorado at Boulder that have managed to travel during the, the COVID pandemic here. And they are actually out taking um, high resolution 3D video and analyzing it to see how synchronous they are and studying how these fireflies function as a group together. And they're actually using some models from neurology. So when we think about how neurons in your brain fire off at the same time, it's not exactly instantaneous, but it's pretty close. Too close for the human eye to call sometimes. Park rangers hope the science will allow them to tell visitors the best time to come next year. We are now collecting very careful data and using some climate and weather models using um, our weather station data to try and forecast when they're going to come out and synchronize. I think a lot of times folks take for granted how much scientists know or how much data we have about the natural world. And the truth is there's so much we don't know. And that's what makes the science so exciting in places like Congaree National Park so important as their, their laboratories to, to understand these things. Well, the park says next year's viewing will likely be different for visitors. They're actually considering taking reservations so that too many people don't show up on certain nights. So you would have to reserve your time before you got there. And they said they also might use buses to bring people into the parks.